Jesus Christ, when the frick are my hecking drugs gonna get here? Sir? Ah, uh, yes, my new robot assistant. Uh, what do you want? New game controversies have been occurring at an alarming rate, so I've gathered them all and need you to cover at least one or else the rent will go up again. <sighs> That's not how this works. Alright, give them to me. Uh, okay, uh, devotion. What the hell is that? It's a Taiwanese horror game containing easter eggs that dump on the Chinese president. Okay, uh, Rape didn't know. Uh, Y2K. Wait, wasn't that a hoax? No, the other Y2K. Oh god, you're gross, get away from me, Jesus Christ! Ugh! Uh, the project- no. Uh, oh yeah, that one Kotaku article from a few months back. Which one? Haha, <laughs> good one, good one. Uh, let's just put this down before I get infected. Uh, what, that's it? Come on, there's gonna be something interesting from this year. Oh yes, that reminds me, your supply of expired Tylenol also arrived. Wait, really? Oh, good, 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 good. Just just set on here, set on top of here. <sighs> Great. Now maybe this migraine will finally go- One last thing, the Japanese police know about the Tylenol and they're on their way to arrest you. Wait, what? Oh yeah. Forgot we relocated last week. Paranoid, aren't you? Oh me golly gosh, being stuck in a Japanese prison cell for possession slash use of expired pharmaceutical drugs is quite the predicament, isn't it? I sure can't imagine how I'll get out of this one. This might have done me in The crazy even is actually a newsy. It's a good thing that my cellmate Pierre Tucky was able to calm me down and reassure to me that everything would be fine right before he faded out of fucking existence. Or maybe that was just another hallucination. That expired Tylenol did have that as a side effect. Luckily, before he left this mortal plane, he regaled me with the tale of how his imprisonment came to be. It's a fascinating story about the strange attitude of drugs in Japan and how being even slightly associated with any type of drug could completely ruin your career in this country. Well, I say strange, but the Popo aren't exactly that lenient with drug possession and usage here in America either. Just ask my other cellmate, who got 50 years for having the last name Blow. Anyway, up until recently, Mr. Taki was a super popular figure in the Japanese entertainment industry, one part of successful pop group Denki Groove, and notable actor for several films and TV shows. He most recently starred in the spin-off to the popular Yakuza franchise, Judgment, or Judge Eyes if you hate localization, and as with most games in the series, they use his entire likeness for the character he played. Keep that in mind as we get to the nitty gritty of this stuff. Now, the game came out in Japan last December, and is to be released everywhere else soon after the upload date of this video. So Sega was already enjoying a heaping helping of good sales from the game when headlines broke out a few months after that Mr. Taki was arrested by the Narcotics Control Department for Japan's Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare for possessing and using cocaine. They'd received some tips from anonymous sources about his use of the drug, but while he wasn't possessing it during his arrest and their search of his home came up empty, he voluntarily submitted a urine test to the team and it tested positive, so that was more than enough to get him booked, I guess. As such, Mr. Taki received a different kind of blow. A blow to his career. I'm really sorry for that, blend the Tylenol. With this news in tow, Sega halted all current sales of Judgment in Japan and made the decision to completely replace Taki's VO and likeness of the character he previously played. Yep, that quickly. But rest assured, the game's producer stated that this wouldn't diminish the now disgraced actor's contributions to it. Though I'm not sure how, if they're redoing both the voice and the visual look of the character entirely. This also received criticism from other higher-ups in the industry, as well as the common folk. But the biggest concern regarding this sudden change was whether or not this would affect the release of the game in the wild, wild west. All this said though, Judgment is a game that I liked a lot. I was thoroughly hooked by its narrative, and I couldn't stop thinking about it when I was away from it. Which is always a great sign for me when it comes to a game. <laughs> yeah, it didn't take too long for these changes to be completed. About a month after the incident occurred, Sega put out a new trailer displaying the new character model. Doesn't look too far off from Mr. Taki, but you'd be surprised who they actually based this new model off of. I'll give you a few seconds if you want to guess. Um, 
spent too much money at TMG again this year. Time's up, the answer is absolutely nobody. Rather than find another popular musician slash actor that might be doing crack behind the scenes, they just up and made their own original model for the character and got some rando to re-record the dialogue. It would have taken a lot more time and money if they didn't go this route, so it makes sense. Let's just pray this new character model doesn't get caught with a hookah at some point in the future so we don't have to experience this all over again. So cheers and drinks all around for Yakuza Studios and friends. Shame on Taki and his reprehensible addiction, am I right, boyos? It wasn't just Judgment he was replaced in either. This dude's also the Japanese dub role for everyone's least favorite Dizzy character, Frozen Man. Not only did SE patch out his recent appearance in KH3, Dizzy straight up stopped selling Frozen and Frozen-related merchandise in the country. I don't think that'll last forever, as it's the third highest grossing film of all time there. But the fact they did that over a mere drug charge speaks volumes over Japan's attitude towards drugs. Also, needless to say, this isn't the first time something like this has happened. Several celebrities and sports figures have been destroyed over drug possession slash use charges and accusations. Even a previous game in the Yakuza series had one of its characters changed for the re-release earlier this year, because the actor who originally played that character also fell victim to similar allegations. It's not just celebrities though, every living, breathing person in Japan is under the same scrutiny for these drug laws. That's a no-brainer, of course, but this stuff can get pretty ridiculous. Marijuana possession alone could get someone five years in prison. Even something as simple as prescribed medication could be classified as a drug there, and get you jail time even if you need it to freaking survive. It's insane. And with all of this, one must wonder, how did it get to this point? Well, we need look no further than our wonderful homeland. The US had quite the influence on modern Japan after World War II, with them helping them out and all boosting their economy, because, you know, they were so nice to them before, so why not? And their occupation in there resulted in plenty of other new developments for the country besides the economic boom, one such being a long-term ban on cannabis and other drugs that has continued to this day. It's not just that, though. Japanese society has had a long-standing sense of honor and dignity that's more important above all else. And drugs are viewed as dangerous gateways to tarnishing said honor, so with these two powers combined, anyone who's gotten caught with the goods there are both legally and socially fucked. Ironically, whereas the US has been letting loose with its drug laws more recently, Japan just... hasn't. And even with some small signs of progress here and there, it won't be for the foreseeable future. Compare all this to Nobuhiro Watsuki, the author of Renuo Kenshin. I got at least half of that right, I think. <laughs> Dude had a bunch of child porn in his office, Kenshin was pulled from serialization, he got slapped with a fine a few months later, and now his work is back in serialization. Look, I'm not the first to make this comparison, but still. Something is wrong when someone caught with pot could get a bigger punishment than someone caught with child porn. It's a fucking sham is what it is, and yeah, 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 cultural differences and... You know what? No. Cultural differences, my ass. It's fucking stupid that this dude's career, a long, successful, and involving career, is pretty much ruined for a small drug problem that could easily be fixed. <laughs> while a Watsuki god was an uh, uh uh and now gets to continue living his life in perceived luxury. And I better not see anyone going, uh oh, he didn't cause any actual harm, bitch. Cause y'all know that argument is as shitty as the shit from the horse your dumbass rode in on. Speaking of which, with all this crap, maybe the US needs to intervene in Japanese culture just one more time, maybe with another Oh my god, why the hell would you write this robot assistant? Well you told me to write something down that would detract the commentators who got pissed at you for saying Rayboy appeals to power fantasy ass wipes and this was the best I came up with. It, yeah, this ain't gonna do that, bud. But you put it in any way. Touché. They're planning on re-releasing Judge Eyes in Japan, with all these changes included, a few weeks after the Western release, but that's about it for this Judge Gudge thing. I've actually been holding off on making this one for a while, till the game's release date, just in case something stupider happened. But seeing as most peeps had already accepted the changes made to it at this point, I don't think we'll be hearing any more backlash. And if there is, well, we'll just leave it for the controversies I missed 2019 video, along with pretty much everything I listed up prior. <sighs> you know there was a DS game that had you feel up junior high school girls to find out if they were a witch or not? Yeah? 
Well, I don't care then. We're talking about it anyway. Who the fuck thought that stupid trash was a good idea? Well, looks like I got no choice but to sit here and rot. If only a true hero would come to my rescue, I would do anything for them if they did. I said if only a true hero would come and save me. I did say anything. Any minute now. These drugs didn't help this headache. Alright, prick. Your bail's been posted and all charges have been dropped. Now get the fuck out of here. Oh, great, thank you. Uh, wait, wait, what's with the accent? We're in Japan, right? Huh? What the fuck are you talking about? No, you're in the US, you're in New York. Ugh, one of the foreign newbies must have arrested you. Gotta explain them again, that's not how this shit works. We're supposed to take any drug users and shoot them on sight, not arrest them. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, don't worry about it. You just better be lucky someone came for your broke ass in the first place. And that's why I bought a robot assistant. Robot? <laughs> your pal ain't a robot, you dunce. Wait, then who, who was it? Oh no, not you. <laughs> Money you got the law.